Hello, my name's Adam from the Honeywell. Today I'm going to show you how to install an Intermec or a Honeywell printer over USB with a Zebra printer driver. Before we start, you'll need to install the Intermec or Honeywell into driver from our website. I left the link below in the description of the video as to where you can get that uh, the driver from. So uh, please download that, get that installed, and then you can continue the video. Now that you've installed the InterDriver, I can show you what you need to do. So first of all, you're going to click the Start button, go to All Programs, go to the Honeywell Program Group, find the InterDriver folder, then launch the InterDriver wizard. You'll have this uh, dia dialog will uh, pop up. You want to select to install printer drivers and press next. And we're going to add a USB printer. So we're going to select the USB radio button and uh, you're going to connect your printer via USB. So just a warning, um, avoid plug in your Intermec or Honeywell printer in um, before this stage. So now it's uh, connected, it's found the uh, printer on USB 001, you're going to press next, you're going to name uh, the printer something meaningful. So I've just write in here that's the Intermec PC43T via USB, pressing next, and again you want to note that port that it's on port USB 001. That's very important that you note down that uh, that port number. So you press uh, next. It's going to install the uh, printer driver and uh, tell you that it's uh, completed successfully. You'll just press next. And uh, you don't need to put it in text only mode. You'll just go next and you'll press uh, finish and you're done. Now you have USB uh, communication to that printer. So the next thing you want to do is you want to install a Zebra printer driver which will be uh, directed to the uh, USB port which we just installed. So there they are, there's our Intermec printer. So we're going to add a new printer. We're adding a local printer and we're going to pick that port number which was USB 001. So in your installa installation you'll need to note down what port you had. You're going to select your Zebra Designer um, printer, select the, uh, the right printer. In this case, you need to make sure that you're selecting the ZPL printer. You're going to give it a name, your Zebra Z Designer ZM400 via USB PC43T printer. Press Next. Um, you're not going to share the printer, just press next and then you press finish. And now you'll see on that Intermec PC43T there's two drivers which are associated. There's a Zebra driver and there's also the uh, Intermec driver as well. So on the, uh, the Zebra Designer driver you want to make sure that you've got the right uh, print mode selected. In this case I want it to be Thermal Direct because I've got uh, thermal paper, no ribbon. And I'm going to now uh, go print the properties. I'm going to print a test page and you can see the, uh, the the test prints popped out of the printer via the Zebra driver. So it shows you that you know the USB is installed, everything's working. It's all uh, all good to go. So next thing I'm going to launch an application which is like a legacy application which is hard coded to a Zebra driver. In this case it's Zebra Designer 2. I'm opening up a sample label. I'm directing it to the correct printer driver. I'm pressing OK. There it is. And I'm going to print it out just to show that it's working. I'm doing two copies of that label. Pressing print. And there it, is. it pops out of the printer there it is working. So the uh, Intermec or Honeywell printer via USB um, you know, working with a Zebra driver and a Zebra application. So I hope this uh, video was helpful 
and uh, please uh, look in the information below for more uh, helpful links. Thank you.